there's a new Secrets of Dumbledore trailer out, which means that this is time for another reaction video. I am sorry about my appearance. I am sick. I caught a cold and I just am not feeling that great. So I can't really get myself together. I feel like I'm not at full functioning, but I really wanted to do another reaction video because I loved doing the last one and I just am so excited to watch this trailer. I'm very sorry if you hear my dog bark during any point of this video. She just is annoying. Anyways, let's react. It'd be good to make sure I have the volume on. Memory is everything. Without it, we are blind. Without it, we leave the fate of our world to chance. What is that? I'm sorry to disturb you, Albus, but I've just received troubling news. Tell me, what is it? It's Grindelwald. Ooh, Phoenix looks burnt. The world as we know it is coming undone. If we're to defeat him, you'll have to trust me. Mr. Kowalski, we need you. I said I want an out and I want out. You do know I'm a witch, right? Dumbledore asked that I give you something, Jacob. This is the team that's gonna take down the most dangerous wizard in a century. That was cool. That looked really cool. Like our chances. <laughs> the easy ends. No one can know everything. Not even you. you Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. With or without you, I'll burn down their world. Dangerous times favor dangerous men. If by tea time, all of us are still alive, you should consider our efforts a success. Mr. Kowalski. My pleasure. Do you really intend to turn your back on your own kind? It was you who said we could reshape the world. What was that happening with Credence? We can try to make things right. gonna need some help there's nothing you can do to stop me <gasps> no that that better not freaking be Theseus' death not quite what they appear I trust you're enjoying your wand mr. Kowalski <laughs> Sorry that I wasn't talking more while I was reacting. I felt like I was just in shock trying to get my thoughts together. Okay, let's talk about the new things for this trailer that were revealed. So we're going to be seeing a lot new different types of magic and how that manifests in different spells in this film, it looks like, which I'm very excited for. I always love to see that happen. I mean, I know that there's going to be Harry Potter fans that are upset and they're going to be like, oh, it's breaking canon, all these new spells. But like, you know what? It's just an expansion of the Wizarding Universe and the spells and everything. So we saw the scene where Jacob was holding the wand to the ceiling and the like storm was sort of forming which when i saw that and it wasn't like that full clip like it was a shortened version from the first trailer i thought it was queenie like trying to keep jacob away but it looks like it's jacob losing control of his wand and causing that so we know right now that jacob isn't gonna have full control over his wand which i'm not surprised about that i figured that from the very beginning because he is an homage so he would be able to technically use the wand a little bit but never have full control of it and i knew that which makes me wonder why he was given a wand in the first place. Like, I feel like there was other things. It's interesting that it seems like Jacob tried to sort of like distance himself or like get out of the wizarding universe with everything that happened. Like he was at the bakery. That was sort of interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Much less Theseus in this trailer, but still got to see him. So I'm still happy. However, that scene where he's falling, I am very concerned. What if that's his death scene? I'm going to be so mad. It's looking like Secrets of Dumbledore is probably going to be much more brutal and violent because we saw blood on Newt's head at one scene and it looked like Dumbledore was being like harsh to Credence. Although I couldn't really tell what was going on with that scene. Like it looked like Dumbledore was being harsh to Credence but like the way like I don't know they like flipped the perspective. Like it was weird. Like I don't know how to describe that part. Like it seemed weird to me but 
I'm sure it's gonna be epic. We gotta see a little more of the new Grindelwald and I actually think that he has done incredible so far based off the trailer. We gotta see like more of him talking and stuff. I feel like people aren't giving him a fair chance because they're mad that Johnny Depp was replaced but it wasn't Mads choice to get Johnny Depp out of the film like you know what I mean like don't take it out on Mads like if you want to take it out on anyone take it out on Warner Brothers you know it's interesting how the phoenix sort of is more like black and burnt and ashy but not like ashy in terms of like being reborn ashy in terms of like it looks like the phoenix has been corrupted and I wonder if that's fox or if that's a different phoenix but if it is fox it looks like fox's physical appearance has changed to reflect her owner and Credence has definitely gone a much darker path so I mean that could be what happened or maybe something else happened like the phoenix definitely isn't like this majestic phoenix that we saw in the Harry Potter films so I'm very interested in that. I don't really have many other thoughts I'm just so tired and sick that I can't get my thoughts together very well. I thought this was interesting, gave us a lot to look forward to, but it also didn't give away too much about the plot and what's going to be happening in the movie, so that this movie will be a complete surprise to everyone who sees it. In case you don't know, Secrets of Dumbledore is coming out on April 15th globally, but there's some countries like the United Kingdom where it's coming out on April 8th, so if you're in the United States like me and you want to avoid spoilers, I recommend staying off of social media for the week from April 8th to 15th. That's what I'm planning on doing. For Crimes of Grindelwald, there was a showing that was like a day or two before the like premiere in the United States and so I was able to go to like the early showing at I think it was like Regal so I'm hoping that Regal will do that again. If not, you know, I'm just gonna stay off of social media for a week in April. Also April 15th is my brother's birthday so guess who's going to the movie theater instead of celebrating his birthday? I feel mean. I feel really mean. I'm sorry. At one point my brother's birthday was at the same weekend as a comic con and Bonnie Wright and Ezra Miller were there and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna go see my brother for his birthday and so I stayed down here in the state that I live in that he wasn't going to college in and I went and met Ezra Miller and Bonnie Wright instead of going to his birthday celebration thingy. So you know, sometimes Potter things just coincide with my brother's birthday and I sort of prioritize those. Does that make me a bad sibling? I don't know. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. Feel free to leave your thoughts on the second trailer down in the comment section below. I promise that once the movie comes out, there will be no spoilers on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram, or any of that until after the movie comes out on to DVD, which is my firm belief that we shouldn't post spoilers until it comes out on DVD because people like me with disabilities have a hard time going to the movie theater like it's gonna be a struggle to go to the movie theater over and over to see this movie but I'm gonna do it because it's one of the few things that I still look forward to in life you know I feel like I don't have enough excitement about things in life but whenever there's a new Fantastic Beast movie just brightens my life you know it makes me so happy I hope all of you have a great weekend and I'll see all of you in my next video until next time goodbye